it's a new day that the lord has made that we all should rejoice and be glad in it hallelujah blessings to you child of god blessings to your family i welcome you all to this session in jesus mighty name if i am sitting here and you are watching it's because the lord has a word for us and i pray that this word brings you confirmation i pray that this word brings transformation i pray that this word brings peace i pray that this word brings answers in the name of jesus christ if you are being blessed by the this prophetic messages i would like you to just join us share with more people drop a comment like every time you see it so that the word of god will spread to more and more people hallelujah the bible says in psalms chapter 38 from verse 19 i'm reading psalms chapter 38 from verse 19 it says many have become my enemies without cause those who hate me without reason are numerous those who repay my good with evil lodge accusations against me. Though I seek only to do what is good, Lord, do not forsake me. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly to me, my Lord and my Savior. I'm reading this and the Lord is ministering to my spirit that this is someone's prayer. Because everything I have mentioned right now is what you are going through. And your prayer is that God should save you from people that are hating you for no reason. Now, you must understand that it's normal that you come across people at your workplace, at your neighborhood, or they just hate you for no reason. So if you're saying, oh God, why don't they like me? Why? It's possible that people just hate you for nothing. Enemies, and you don't even know what you have done to them. They try to repay your good with evil because we live in a wicked world and the Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. But one prayer that we are making and one thing God is doing, that God will not forsake you and God will keep you far from them. God will come to your help and he will save you. I came to share this prayer with you because this is the prayer you should make in this season, especially if you feel like this word is for you. Just go over Psalms 38 verse 19 to 22. Read it over and over and over again and pray with those words. The Lord will keep you far from them. The Lord will keep them far from you. The Lord will come to your help. The Lord will frustrate the plans of your enemies. The Lord will save you. The Lord will bring you peace. The Lord will bring you blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless you. I love you so much. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Shalom.